Hi guys, Mark Crossford here. Welcome to part two. This is part two of how to improve your strike and how to work it into your golf shot. If you haven't checked part one out, it's in the link down below. Go and watch that just to outline how important strike is, which I'm sure lots of you know already. So I'm going to give you some of my best ideas, drills to try and work on improving strike and making sure you build it into your practice regime. Let's get stuck in. Okay, first fix for strike. And this one sounds too obvious for lots of people, but when I do it with students, it's amazing how they change their strike. First thing I do is I empower them to understand that they are allowed to practice strike. So many people go to the range, they want to practice the takeaway, if the face is pointing in a certain direction, over swinging, under swinging, different grips, all have some kind of relevance as long as you're applying them to impact. What people often forget to practice is where they're striking it on the face. So if I hit a series of shots saying I'm always consistently hitting it out of the heel, first thing I'll do is I'll challenge a student to ask if they can actually hit it out of the toe. What I'll do then, so if I'm going to hit one now, I'm going to try and deliberately hit this out of the um, toe end of the club. So I struck that one definitely a little bit out of the toe. Often would just turn the ball a little bit to the left. We'll get the strike numbers up here in a second. I'm not sure if we're on the right club, but you'll see the strike point. Um, I did everything I would feel normal in my swing. All I tried to do, yeah, you can see there, I struck that one way out on the toe end there. I've got a screen up here in front of me. What I did is everything I would normally do, but I felt like as I was delivering the club, I was bringing my arms in, still on a straight line in my mind, but closer to me. So I wasn't going more out to in or into out. I was keeping path the same. Rather than doing it here, I felt like I was doing it closer to me. Often when you challenge a student just to do that, it improves their strike dramatically. And you ask them, have you ever in practice strike? And they often say no. Practice every other fundamental of golf, putting, chipping, um, shaping shots, grips, posture starts, but they've not even practiced moving strike around on the face. It's the first thing you should do if you want to improve strike. Right, second thing I do with students, you saw how when I use body track on part one, if you haven't checked out part one, check that link down below, where I pushed on the ground in a different way, made it very hard for me to coordinate where I was striking the ball on the face. Um, get, I've got on a shaft here, you can get those kind of alignment canes, those kind of things. What I want you to do is set yourself up um, where it's in the middle of your feet, so you're standing on both sides of it, left foot and right foot, right through the middle of your feet. And I want you to feel that you make a few back swings and down swings, trying to feel that you're keeping the pressure down on that cane or shaft that I've got here quite even. So I'm not going over onto my toe and I'm not going onto my heel too much. And then as I come down and through, again, I feel like I'm quite even on that left foot, not up on my toes, which is the common one that I demoed early in part one, moving my strike more towards the heel. People want to, what people call early extend, thrush forwards. Often that's to do with how they're pushing on the ground. This simple cane trick, drill. You can hit three quarter shots, full shots. It's all about just trying to push on that cane in an even spot and then see what it does to your strike. If it improves your strike, take the cane away and take some shots where you imagine it's still there and moving that strike around. Be interested if we bring that strike up where it is because nothing, no drill fixes, they hopefully just give you the power to learn some things about your game. So still slightly toe bound, but much closer where I would want my strike to be. Practice your patterns from the cane, feel where you're pushing as you make your backswing and downswing, so forward or back of that cane, and see what it does to your strike. Work it into that data, work it into your practice regimes. Right, the last little practice thing, tip I want you to do to try and improve your strike is you've got to change the way you hit at targets. Now what I mean by that, I remember going and watching Faldo warm up in a European Tour event once. Everyone was hitting the ball down the range. Okay? He had an iron and he was literally hitting the ball over into the left hand corner here into a hedge. Now I remember going to European Tour events and I'm sure it's shame on PGA Tour events. They've got brand new tight list practice balls and he's just hitting them onto this, into this hedge on the left. I'm just thinking, wow, he just does not care about those balls. But what actually he was doing is he was trying to land the ball into a visible spot every time. So he knows if the ball landed short, bounced into that hedge, that might be landing in the front bunker, might not be making the distance he wants. If it cleared the hedge and went into the field, which you could see, again, he's gone too far. He was practicing distance control 
with a real visible target and you need to do the same. Ranges are often very bland, kind of flat expanses of ground, but you need to try and pick some targets, if it's up the left, up the right, try and drop it just over a bunker, just over a flag, just over a hump in the range. Anything landing on that hump is going to come up short. People are so dialed in to that left and right dispersion. Now left and right dispersion has its place, but so many people I teach uh, and watch practice, they are not working in short and long. And then they do the classic, why do I hit it better on the range than I do on the course? Well, you don't. You're just not monitoring those shots on the range the same way a course will make you monitor your shots. The course demands that you hit it certain amount left and right, but it also demands that you hit it an appropriate distance. If that green is surrounded by water, I feel like I've hit a good shot there left and right, and I have for distance. Anything changing on my strike, and it doesn't have to be huge, and you're not feeling it on your practice regimes, same direction, coming up short, that's a bogey waiting to happen. Pick your target specific for short and long, not just left and right. Let me know if any of these tips help. You could use all of them, combination, or just one of them. Post comments, as always, love to hear. Thanks for watching, and uh, speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.